All right, welcome back. So, if you remember a few episodes ago, we got this quick change toolbox taken off of the machine. A couple of these pieces were already pulled off then. So if you can see, there's just some gear sets here that engage with the lower piece. And we have some sections down here that will engage at different with different settings. And then we have the main changing gear, the main gear that changes up there that we can move side to side with that shaft and it'll actually uh, it's kind of seized up right now but this would engage the top gear set at one of the different points to drive that and then we have this lower gear set and that one's also seized up so this thing definitely just needs to come apart mainly because these two front parts are all seized up and I need to get those out so Let's get started. Is there anything we can get off from the front? Yeah, see this part seized up, this part seized up, and I don't know if it looks like it's just a set screw. Let's see if we can get these to budge at all. Just A little bit of per per percussive maintenance. See if we can get any budge out of that. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I had this with some of the other parts on the apron where these are just super rusty on the inside. And so they don't want to pull out at all. And I can't get really good leverage to get the pin out as it is right now. Hmm. Do I have a good try the old uh, vice grips method? Uh, Maybe I can, I'll be able to get this to shift a little bit. Okay, it's rotating. There, we got it to lift. Okay, so that's some motion out of this. Oh, that is really gummy. It's all that. Old grease in there, I think, is giving it a hard time. But we got motion out of that, so. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get anything out from the front there yet. So, for now, back to this. Uh, not seeing anything in here. There was a set screw and it's gone. We've got a couple set screws over here. Let's grab sockets out. Let's see, first guess? Yeah. It's got a eighth inch set screw on there. Let's see, there was one on the other end. There's one there, so it looks like I'm going to have to pull these all the way out just so they don't interfere with the casting. Yeah, one of them was missing. I don't know if that's from a previous repair or if it was designed to only have two, but I doubt that. We've got another of the same thing up here, is it? Yeah, same, same one. It looks like they're already loose. Sorry, you can't see this. <sighs> up here, we've got another collar there. We've got some of these 
eighth inch set the screws out. So I guess that means the shaft should be moving out the other direction since this is the side I've got that collar on. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this bottom one to budge first. Just grab a nice round punch here, get it into the uh, get it right into where they had the hole drilled for turning on the centers. So we've got a bushing here. Let's check really quick up in here if this uh, arm. Uh, don't see any way of getting that arm out just yet. So yeah, let's let's keep on seeing if this will budge. tight now so get the collar off at least oh well that would explain why it's not budging it's a threaded collar look at that I guess uh, that was the right way I just was turning it in case that helps getting it to move but uh, Yeah, now that's sliding out good. Pushing out a, a bearing, or bear, a set of bearings over here. That's why it's moving so slow. I figured it would already be unlocked, but uh, well, not unlocked, but you, but uh, pulled out. So yeah, that's bearings there. I guess maybe we do need to remove that. No, we can get this a little bit further out. or so shy. Let's get that line back up in that hole. Hmm. I do not know if that will move anymore. There we go. Now I can get that back part off of there. And So it looks like what we need to do is get these pulled off of the shaft so that that whole shaft can slide out. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how easily we'll be able to access that. Let me look at it for a minute. All right, these shouldn't be actually stuck on there hard at all. I was able to get this off easily enough, but there's just a ton of old thickened oil that's stuck down in here and it's been getting everything kind of gunked up. And, and it's why things aren't moving, so we should just be able to get this to slide off. Yeah, this is like a whole assembly here. Yeah, there we go. So, that loose. There's, here's that lower shaft pulled off. Let's just go throw this in the wash bin. 
get all that grease start working off. So now we have some access to that uh, handle here. It looks like there is a set screw. It's kind of hard to tell. It's See, oh, it looks like, no, there's a pin here. There's definitely a pin. And it looks like large ends here, small ends over on this other side. So, let's get this on the top. Yeah, it's definitely a pin. Oh, it's spinning freely. I don't know if that'll help or not. Let's get that down right there. Yeah, you got a taper pin here, and that is 100% a large end. It's easy to tell from there. Let's grab a hammer and punch. And that's that loosened up nice and easy. And what size punch would we need? This medium one here. Punch out. Set it over with the parts, and yeah, that's coming right off. There we go. Stick those back together. Throw the punch in so it doesn't get lost. And we got that whole assembly off. Now to work on the top. So we got this other one up here. My guess then is that it's more of the same that we had just before, where we've got a threaded, threaded one. So it's, uh, I'll need some way of holding that. Let's grab this again. Okay, I'm gonna grab a different, grab a new rag because that other one is really, really covered in the gunk. Let's see if this comes right off. Yeah. So this threaded coupler will just come right off. I guess maybe there is one of these holes is just designed to. Yeah, that's one of these holes isn't even threaded. It. It's just designed to have a uh, wrench to tighten loosen this off. Get it stored with the other one. Now, should be able to start working that out. So let's move this out of the way. Okay. See, we got that punch here. Center hole. Let's slide. Let's move this over here. There we go. Came right out. And that. Oh, that's our big needle bearing there you see inside. And it doesn't quite want to come off the ends, but there we go. Let's see, we've got another needle bearing here, I think. No, that's the uh, that's the race. The needle bearing is on the inside. So that's our inner race. Okay, uh, well this, this will go into that degreaser bath as well. Now this should come right out. Sweet. Okay, so that looks like that's all we really needed to take apart on this. Uh, I'm not going to pull that off. Well, 
I'll probably pull that off, but not right now. It's going to take a little bit of effort. Uh, we do have our oil cavity here. We can get just a small cotter pin and a spring holding that on. And that's the, it's really all of our disassembly. We've got a uh, bushing here, but that's, that's not really super important. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up and that'll actually be it for all of the components that can come off of the machine. Next thing we have to do is take off the, to really disassemble the headstock and we'll Start there with getting the motors, the the motors and its pulleys pulled off, and I guess we'll see that next. And thanks for watching.